Hey, it's Emily Poran, creator of Master the Sin Life. Do you experience diarrhea, bloating, abdominal pain, eczema and or rash, headaches, foggy brain, fatigue, depression, joint pain, or numbness in the extremities? Gluten may be the environmental trigger sparking these symptoms. In this video, I'm going to dive deep into the topic of gluten because I am gluten sensitive and this topic is dear to my heart. I'm going to define what gluten is and what common and less known foods contain gluten. I'm also going to reveal how researchers differentiate between gluten sensitivity versus celiac disease versus wheat allergy. I'm going to reveal the fascinating results of a double-blind placebo-controlled study that looked at gluten consumption in relation to pain, tiredness, and stool consistency. I will focus on gluten sensitivity because I am personally gluten sensitive, as already mentioned, and reveal what you can do, test, and other options if you suspect that you are gluten sensitive, have a wheat allergy, or even celiac disease. Finally, I reveal my secret product that I take when I go out to eat in restaurants just in case I consume hidden or trace amounts of gluten. Let's dive deep into this juicy information. What is gluten? Gluten is the main structural protein complex of wheat with equivalent toxic proteins found in rye and barley. Gluten is found in refined grain products like bread, pasta, cookies, pastries, and pizza crust. Gluten also often hides in processed foods like soy sauce, candy, chocolate, ready-made soups, and low and no fat products. So what's the difference between gluten sensitivity versus celiac disease versus wheat allergy? Well, according to an article published in BMC Medicine, gluten sensitivity is possibly immune-mediated, but neither allergic nor autoimmune mechanisms can be identified. Celiac disease is an autoimmune reaction, and wheat allergy is an adverse immunological reaction to wheat proteins. Let's explore each of these distinctions in more detail. Possibly the introduction of gluten-containing grains, which occurred about 10,000 years ago with the advent of agriculture, represented an evolutionary challenge that created conditions for human diseases related to gluten exposure, the best known of which are mediated by the adaptive immune system, wheat allergy and celiac disease. In both conditions, the reaction to gluten is mediated by T cell activation in the gastrointestinal mucosa. There are cases of gluten reactions in which neither allergic or autoimmune mechanisms are involved, and these are generally defined as gluten sensitivity. Gluten-sensitive individuals are unable to tolerate gluten and have an adverse reaction when eating gluten, but unlike celiac disease, this does not usually lead to damage in the small intestine. A recent double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study set out to test the hypothesis that gluten can cause gastrointestinal symptoms in individuals without celiac disease. Individuals were randomized according to random computer-generated lists of numbers held by an independent observer to either the gluten or the placebo treatment group. Over the entire study period, the severity scores of pain, satisfaction with stool consistency, and tiredness were significantly higher for those consuming the gluten diet compared to the placebo group. While no evidence for intestinal inflammation or damage for latent celiac disease was found to offer an explanation for symptom deterioration caused by gluten, therefore this study further supports the notion the non-celiac gluten sensitivity is part of the spectrum of gluten-related disorders, and this confirms a similar finding reported more than 30 years ago. Gluten sensitivity is very real and can impact an individual's quality of life. I know this firsthand because I am gluten sensitive, and I experienced some of the symptoms outlined in the beginning of this video. The next logical question is what can you do if you suspect that you have gluten sensitivity, a wheat allergy, or maybe celiac disease? The easy answer is to consume a gluten-free diet. Now you can get yourself tested for wheat allergy and celiac disease with your doctor. Gluten sensitivity is more tricky to test. There is, however, an anti-gliadin IgA test that can measure gliadin, a component of gluten antibodies, in the blood and stool. Now, fecal antibody tests are regarded as more accurate for testing gluten sensitivity because blood antibodies show up when intestinal damage has already allowed gliadin to pass through into the blood. 
Now, according to researchers, there are no laboratory biomarkers specific to gluten sensitivity. So an elimination diet of gluten-containing foods followed by a challenge is often used to evaluate whether health improves on a gluten-free diet. Now, let's say you have determined that you are gluten sensitive or you just want to avoid gluten. But you want to go out to eat sometimes. You recognize that when you do go to restaurants, you may still be in danger of exposure to hidden gluten. Now, I'm avoiding celiac disease or weed allergy individuals because even trace amounts of gluten are unacceptable for these cases. But in the case of gluten sensitive individuals or individuals who want to eliminate gluten from their diet, I often get asked, is there anything I take to protect myself from hidden and trace amounts of gluten? And yes, there is. I take an extraordinary plant-based enzyme formula that supports the intestinal brush border cells to promote even more complete digestion of carbs and protein-like gluten. It's a live source, clean, cellular resonant enzyme formula that I love to take before I eat at a restaurant as additional assurance in case I consume hidden gluten. If you want to learn more about this amazing enzyme formula, click on the link below the video. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think and enter your comments below. And I will see you in the next video. For new food, lifestyle, and motivational videos, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and website. Thank you guys for all your support.